Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I've got the Mavic Mini again today, and we're out at another new park that I've never uh, flown a drone at. It's uh, Keith Bird Legacy Park, and I'm gonna kind of pan around here. You can see they've got a picnic shelter, restrooms, play area, and a little basketball court, but we're gonna go, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out further into the park and put the little Mavic Mini up in the air. And the advantage of this park is it's kind of right across the street from the Costco that they're building over there. So we're, we can kind of go in this lot across the street here that looks like maybe it's a residential uh, development. And we can uh, throw the drone up in the air and uh, uh, just take a look at things a little bit and take a look at this park. We're gonna stay well out of the way. Uh, there's a lot of people uh, with uh, playing in the park here today, so we're gonna stay well out of their way, but uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna take a walk to the opposite end of the park, take the little Mavic Mini with us, and we'll just throw that little guy up in the air. Okay, we're showing uh, takeoff permitted uh, with, the, uh, with the little uh, Mavic Mini, so uh, let me uh, hold it up here. And we're going to do a uh, we're going to do a hand launch, and again, uh, like I've shown in the past, that's a little bit fiddly. I end up holding the controller in the crook of my uh, elbow here, holding the drone up, hitting the launch, holding down the launch button, and the drone just launches out of your hand. So, and and the beauty of this guy is it's so stable. So, let's. Uh, bring it over here a little bit and yaw it around and uh, so yeah you can see uh, the little mini here let me uh, straighten it out here just a little bit it won't jig it back and forth here you can see that gimbal in action that works pretty good uh, so I am gonna point this thing in a little different direction there there's a play structure over here that we want to miss i'm actually going to turn this camera around a little bit and uh yeah so uh let me start recording now almost forgot to do that i forgot to do that uh the other day when i was flying so uh yeah let's just do uh let's just do a reverse it up and we'll go, there's a, there's a field across the street and it looks like they're doing some residential layout and construction there, but there's really nobody out there. So I don't think it's gonna bother anybody. And uh, we're gonna do reverse it up now. Let's drop the gimbal down here. We got a little bit more of that rule of thir thirds. This isn't a gigantic park. It is pretty good size though. We'll get up at height a little bit. I want to have this thing high enough that uh, that we know we're not bothering anybody. Yeah, there we go, 51 meters. I think uh, that ought to be about high enough. And you're gonna see here in a second uh, the, uh, the construction that's going on uh, across the street. And it looks to me like they're putting in residential streets and so forth. You know, I'm sure it's all at this point water lines and that kind of stuff. So you can see the park there. And uh, the park is, uh, there, there's a bunch of people utilizing the play area and stuff right now. So we're going to stay well away from that. Uh, but, and, and you can see that Keith Bird Park here isn't the biggest park that I fly at. But uh, I was out at Heroes Park the other day. Yeah, I'm getting a little signal interference for some reason. Let's go a little higher. I've got the antenna pointed right towards it, but uh, we'll get a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we're over 60 meters now. We should be all right. Uh, so in any case, there you can see the park, Keith Bird Park. It's not as as big a park as some of the other ones I go to. This was recommended to me by. Uh, the, the, the lady, and I wish I could remember her name, she's the head of uh, groundskeeping for this park and for Heroes Park, 
that you guys see me fly at all the time. So I'm going to yaw around here, and I tried to do that slowly, but wasn't terribly successful. But there you see the uh, the Costco uh, the construction. So we're not going to go over the top of that, but we are going to go. Let's let's get a little closer to it, and uh, so let you guys take a look at the uh, at the construction here. And you can see if you look in the kind of the upper uh, right there, that's Heroes Park over there. So that'll kind of give you an idea of where I'm at. The other thing I want you to note is uh, all of the uh, smoke that's back in the air, and it's supposed to get worse all weekend. Uh, I, just a note on that, you know, our hearts go out to all of our friends in Oregon, one state over from us that are having just horrible fires, and they're literally decimating whole cities, burning them down to the ground, and... Uh, that's just a tragedy. Let's uh, let's yaw around here, and then and then of course they're facing the same thing in California, and you know I, it feels a little disingenuous for me to complain about the smoke here when those people are worried about you know their whole house and livelihood and everything burned da burning down, and all of that in the middle of a pandemic, which. Yeah, like you said, your your heart just goes out to them, and this is why I've said a million times. You know, this is when we all have to be nice to each other and take care of each other. But anyway, you can see the development there. They are moving along on this thing. And it's kind of cool that we've shown it uh, the whole time. You can see the gas pumps. I'm going to kind of yaw around there where you can see the pumps. Uh, and then that looks like the parking lot. And when I originally looked at this, one of the things that I thought was that, that this area that I'm over right now would be part of the parking lot. But you kind of, sometimes when you're, in the air you lose your sense of scale and yeah this is a this is a great big lot so we're gonna yaw around and take a look at that and the the street you're looking at there and everybody in in uh, that that's from this area will recognize that that's Chinden Boulevard that's what that's called and we're gonna we're gonna back up and we're gonna look at this uh, this lot here I got to I almost I turned away from the drone I got to keep my uh, my uh, uh, antenna pointed at the drone I I tend to do that but uh, so you can see here it looks to me I'm gonna drop the camera here a little bit drop the gimbal so you can kind of see it It definitely looks like they're laying out some residential streets here I believe it could be a commercial development uh, but I think it's probably residential well I guess we'll see is it goes together of course now that I'm looking at this big square here it does look almost more commercial doesn't it uh, when I was looking at the street at the other side that looked residential so I'm gonna fly out here to the corner here a little bit and and you guys have seen me do this a lot I used to fly out here to this corner of this when this was just a farmers field uh, when I was flying at Heroes Park I would fly out to the corner of this field because at that time I was just flying out over a farmer's field and obviously with this development and you know it won't be long where I won't be able to do a flight like this either because you're going to have people and things down there and you don't want to be flying your drone over it. So anyway we're going to stop right there that's Chinden Boulevard again and uh, you know there's you can see all the development that's going on here. We're getting a little signal interference, weak signal, adjust antennas. I'm trying to point the, the uh, yeah, so we're going to fly it back towards us. Whoops. Wow, did I over yaw. Look at that, I did a full 360. Okay, let's try that again. Wow. Yeah, when, you, when you're getting FPV breakup, it's kind of hard to... Uh, adjust that yaw so I apologize for that but you guys will be able to see on the screen recording okay so we're gonna get pointed back at the park here and we're gonna come back this way how far out are we there yeah we're, we're not even that far out we were out about 400 meters but uh, evidently some Wi-Fi interference and we're gonna adjust our heading here we do not want to go over the top of uh, the play structures here and where that where they're where these people are, are are at so we're gonna stay over the the green belt and like I said you can see that this is a this is a pretty modest uh, little park Keith Bird Park 
and I like the way they made the trail out to the street there and that's me standing under that tree there the cool thing about the uh, the Mavic Mini is it is so unobtrusive uh, you know people just don't they don't even they don't even know it was up there yesterday when I was flying at uh, uh, yeah, so I crossed into the uh, classy airspace there just very briefly. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to stop right here for a second. Get my sit rep. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not over the top of any of those play structures or anything. Uh, God, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, so what I was going to tell you was yesterday when I was out at... Uh, 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 Rita Husky, Rita Husky Park. I was flying, and uh, the the, uh, the there was a bunch of groundskeepers out there doing some work. And when I was all done, uh, I went over and talked to them, and and they saw me, and they saw that I had my camera on the tripod and everything, and they thought, well, you know, what are you doing? Are you doing some uh, uh, surveying or something? And I said, no, guys, I I had a drone up in the air. So we're going to kind of try and stay to the side here and stay away from all these people. What I'd really like to do, and I just don't think we're going to be able to do it. I kind of wanted to fly towards Heroes Park there, uh, but it doesn't look to me like we're going to, there's no real path for us to get over there. So, you know, that's the shame of this. We used to be able to do it. I used to be able to take a path up here, kind of go behind the LDS church there, but... Uh, but it looks to me like those those days are gone. This is going to be all built up enough where we can't do that. So let's uh, let's just take a little sideways glance at what's going on here with construction. Again, I'm going to drop the camera down. If I see a clear path, maybe we'll get in front of the Costco here. I'll look over here and see what's in front of of the building there. And I hear an aircraft, but he is way off to the south of us. So we're in good shape there, and he's way higher than we are. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not. Boy, look at all those cars there. But anyway, what I was going to tell you is I was talking to those these uh, guys that were doing some work over at that other park, and, and, and they had no idea that I was flying a drone. They asked me what I was doing. And uh, and so I got the I'd, I'd already put my drone away, but I got it out and, and uh, showed it to them and stuff. They said they said you know we had no clue. You know what I should be able to do that. So I'm over here over this part of the uh, yeah, and we're getting signal interference. I'm trying to hold the the drone. Maybe we can grab some more altitude here. Might help us. Let's get up, let's get up about a hundred meters. And that should help our signal a little bit. And I am pointed right at the drone, but what I wanna do, looks like we've got some, a clear spot here. And I'm gonna just uh, kind of see if I can uh, do an arc around the, uh, ah, we're getting interference again, so. Kind of wanted to just show you the, uh, the front of the Costco here. So I'm just kind of doing a manual arc around here, and, and we're, uh, like I said, we're the t over the top of that empty part of the field, so so we're good there. But boy, you can really see the work they're getting done here. Yeah, that thing's going to be open before you know it. Uh, and as I said the other day, uh, my wife and I are looking forward to it because it's just going to be so much closer for us. Okay, we're going to stop right there because I know I'm getting kind of towards the area where the where they're uh, doing construction on the fuel pumps, etc. And there again, you can see us over there at the uh, at the Keith Bird Park. So, uh, gosh, we're down to about 47% battery. Let's uh, let's bring this guy back. You know, let's uh, let's put it into sport mode. What the heck? That's what sport mode is for, right? And I'm going to change the heading again because what we want to do is avoid going over the top of uh, 
where people are playing on those play structures and so forth. And man, this guy's moving right along. Look, we're about 13 meters per second. That's about 27, 28 miles an hour, something like that. That's just amazing for a little drone. <laughs> it just blows my mind this little guy can do that. And I just noticed something here. Let's uh, let's uh, uh, kind of arc off uh, the other direction here. And you can see that they built uh, a walkway to the park here for all these neighborhoods. Now, is that cool or what? That is awesome. Boy, I could almost shoot down there and get out in that other field, but I'm not going to do it. I am not comfortable uh, doing that. So let's uh, let's bring it on in here. And there I am standing underneath that tree there. Let's take it out of sport mode. We've, we got it in cinema mode, which is probably better for what we're doing here. There we are. I think we ought to do a quick orbit. What do you guys think? Well, we got 37% battery. Uh, so let's see if I can do that. I'm standing in the shade. Let's see if it will recognize me. Okay, so we're going to stop recording. And with this guy, you click on that little film strip and we go into quick shots. And we are going to do a circle. And... Uh, See if it'll recognize me. And it's not. I think I have to be a little closer. Oh, there. See, look, we got the plus sign. Yep, we got it. Okay, so we're going to start now. And I think, I don't know, I'm going to raise a little altitude. I want to make sure we're above all these trees, etc. and start and it'll give us the countdown and you'll see a little uh just kind of do an orbit around where i'm at here and what i like about uh this particular quick shot is how it increases in speed as it does that orbit and of course it lost me behind the tree there but that's okay it'll it'll complete its orbit and uh and we'll be good and it's almost done and there it is and it's right back at its uh at its starting position so uh yeah we're down to about 30 percent battery so i am going to move it over here a little bit and we are going to pick up the camera and go back into video mode start video pick up the camera we're going to do another uh quick droney and uh then uh We'll do a return to home and a hand landing. And this is in cinema mode, so it's a lot slower. Okay, good enough. Let's uh, let's do a an RTH, and I will stop it before it. Uh, before it gets all the way back, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do a hand catch. Let's drop that gimbal down so we can see where she's going. I found a nice little shady spot under this tree. Worked pretty darn good. Little tiny little tree, but just the right amount of shade. And look at here it comes. It's about right on the money. And we're getting signal interference because the drone is right above me. As soon as I pointed the the uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, antenna up, we, that went away. So we are going to cancel. And let's bring this guy down manually. Pick up that gimbal. Pretty darn close. I mean, it was coming down, I'm going to say, just almost right on where we took off. So there you can see the camera. Yeah, it's, uh, it's telling me low battery, so we better land this guy. Let me uh, 
make sure I got it in front of the camera. One way to do that. Yeah, we do. So I, I was turning facing away from me so that I get those sensors close to my hand. Then I simply put my hand underneath and pulled down on the stick. And you saw it, uh, those were the sensors. But as soon as it recognized my hand, it, uh, it landed. So we are in, indeed in low power mode. Uh, yeah, so what is, as soon as it recognizes your hand, it'll, it'll drop down in your hand, but initially it might raise a little bit. So let's, uh, let's stop recording so we don't, uh, uh, corrupt a file there. And, uh, we're down about 17% battery. So in good shape, let me, uh, let me shut it down here and we'll do a quick conclusion. Okay. Uh, flying the little Mavic mini again today. So, uh, Again, I'm just always impressed by this little 249 gram drone. Uh, it just flies so well and it, it really handles and is so precise. It flies like the bigger Mavics. Just nobody does flight controls like DJI. That's just all you can say about that. Uh, and this camera is just phenomenal on this little guy. Yeah, you're only in 2.7K, but I'll put it against up against the, the 4K, uh, you know, in the Femi X8 SE or the Hubson Xeno 2 or, you know, many others. This, in my mind, has better color science, better video quality. Uh, and, of course, they, since they put manual controls on it, now real photographers can do a lot with it, too, or videographers, I should say. Uh, but anyway, today at uh, Keith Bird Park here, a new park to fly at, it gave us access to go across the street there and take a look at the construction at the Costco over there and kind of go over that empty field and plus kind of introduce you and me to uh, a new place to uh, throw a drone up in the air. So one thing I'm going to say is, you know, I was talking about how unobtrusive this guy is and I believe it is. Although, however, when I was flying it back just then, I saw the people that are in the play structure over there. They evidently heard the drone because I heard them talking and they were looking up and they were looking up at the drone saying, oh, there it is, you know, so, but it was all very positive, so good stuff. Uh, so uh, the thing just uh, acquitted itself very well. And uh, you know, there's just, that's what you have to say about DJI. You know, you fly some of those other drones and you always have, a problem with this or problem with that you just don't with with these kind of products and 400 bucks for this guy so lately I've said you know if somebody told me that of all my drones if I could only keep one of them what would it be well it's a no-brainer for me that would be the DJI Mavic Air 2 just because it's so capable such a good all-around drone if somebody told me that I could only have two drones you might say the Skydio, possibly the Skydio 2, uh, but I would probably say this little guy, the, the Mini, because it is so portable, so easy to carry, so easy to do things like this with. Uh, anyway, just a lot of fun. So I'm going to quit gushing, and uh, uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. And most of all, I really do appreciate you taking the time to, to look at this video and my other videos. And uh, we absolutely will see on the next one, uh, DJI Mavic Mini, just a little piece of art. All right, see you guys later. Hey, I'm gonna throw a little bonus content uh, onto this uh, video at uh, Keith Bird Legacy Park today. So I brought the OM4 with me today. So I thought this would be a good opportunity uh, to use that. And, uh, and we'll just take a little tour of the uh, park facilities and uh, put it on the end of this video. So let me get the OM4 fired up and we'll take a look. Okay, so uh, using the uh, Osmo Mobile 4 here, and uh, I showed you the, uh, the Keith Bird uh, Legacy Park sign here earlier. So we'll skip over that uh, and we'll walk towards the, uh, the main entrance here. So we've got a sculpture here uh, 
the, of uh, some pheasants. It looks pretty darn cool. And off to our left here, you can see uh, basketball courts. Drop the camera back down just a little bit. Uh, and then uh, over here is a, uh, a restroom facility. And it looks like we have a sign explaining the park. So let's take a look at that for a second. It's kind of in the shade here. Well, as you can see, this park is just kind of a tribute to, uh, to Keith Bird uh, and all the uh, activities and all the contribution that he made to the city of Meridian. Uh, it says like he, that, that he was a, uh, a five-term city councilman. So, boy, that's a lot of service. Any, anybody that's uh, been involved in any kind of uh, government in any form knows that. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. So pretty cool that they that they uh, gave him a, his own park here. So uh, you can see we got some park benches here, uh, which you would expect at a park. But the other thing that's pretty cool is uh, they've got some tables set up here, checker or chess, whichever you prefer. Uh, and I just think that's awesome. And then uh, over here, a whole uh, exercise area various uh, various kind of workout things I mean I, you know I, I, I it's an outdoor gym so that's pretty darn cool I wouldn't even know how to use half of this stuff I'll be honest with you and then of course kids play structure over here and a lot of that they, you know they got some rocks for them to climb on some pretty cool stuff so for the littler kids but I'm willing to bet that this uh, these exercise uh, units end up being more uh, kids playing on them than anything else. And then, uh, then of course, a, a picnic shelter uh, that uh, looks pretty good. It's got a little barbecue spot and so forth, so you can bring your charcoal briquettes and barbecue. Looks like about six picnic tables. And again, over here, here is a, uh, a uh, half basketball court. And let me uh, just kind of pan around to the rest of the park here. So you can kind of get a look at the rest of the park. So let me, uh, let me just walk with this uh, OM4 and I'm not doing uh, what they call the duck walk or anything to try and smooth it out. So this will give us an idea of how this gimbal can, uh, can smooth out your shots and make them more cinematic. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, I switched to the, uh, the front facing camera on the phone. Uh, this is uh, Keith Bird Legacy Park. Uh, I, I didn't know that, but he was a Meridian City Councilman. Uh, pretty cool park here. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for your, uh, your bonus content. Hey, everybody, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.